Okay. So for context, for those signing on to the recording, we just uh, had a wonderful session with all of our puppies and dogs uh, and fluffy ones. So that's lots of smiles over here and good feeling. And if you didn't just have that, you could just imagine you just saw lots of cute dogs or were, were snuggling with your dogs. Okay, and with that, let's get set up in a comfortable seat. And of course, many of you have heard me say that many times, get set up in a comfortable seat. But letting it be an investigation today, what a comfortable, pleasant seat is. What well, would feel good right now? And maybe it's not even sitting. That's also completely possible. Sitting can be nice because it helps us be relaxed, more relaxed than standing, but also a little more alert than laying down. But sometimes it feels right for your body to lay down. Sometimes you're tired and it feels right for your body to stand up. What well, feel most comfortable and pleasant right now? That's your first investigation. I try to relax the muscles, not just on the outside of your face, but on the inside of your head, your scalp, shoulders. Let your breath just release and drop downwards. These things can help. Just taking a moment to savor and appreciate what feels good right now. Even if it's just a small part of your experience and everything else feels bad, just one part that feels good. Notice where you feel it, what it feels like. Notice how it changes, but doesn't entirely go away. There's this thread of comfort, comfort or pleasure that you can find if you can just listen closely enough. That's a thread we'll be listening in for in the practice today. critical thread for practice that allows us to keep going so we can find relief while we're sitting rather than finding a self-improvement project of some sort. Settling, relaxing over and over. Finding that string of pleasant comfort
And of course, you get pulled away from the string rather than looking for it at any point or searching for it or trying to get it. See if you can soften back into it and let it come to you like a pleasant, comfortable butterfly that lands on your shoulder or your hand. Don't chase it. Just sit and soften and breathe and be inviting. like you to call to mind, invite you to call to mind somebody who you feel safe with, who you feel a sense of appreciation or love or gratitude for maybe somebody that you admire. might take you a second I'm not trying too hard to seek out who this person is but let it come to you first such person to pop in your mind and choosing that person when that person floats your way picture them here with you see what their facial expression would be like see what their body languages, what their tone of voice is, maybe even what they're wearing, the way that they have their hair, all of these little details about this person that you so greatly appreciate and love and feel safe with. It's possible that this won't be a human person. It could be a animal person could be uh, some sort of divine embodiment of some kind. As long as imagining their presence, you feel this sense of happiness and safety and comfort. And just gently allow any associations, pleasant associations with this person come to mind. Just soaking up these good feelings. And perhaps also imagining them now in a place that you would feel safe and comfortable. Any place in your life. And if you can't imagine one specific such place that you felt a sense of peace or happiness or comfort, you might imagine such a place. You can use as much of your imagination as you like. Might have all sorts of magical words or castle walls or something like this, or it may be a place of your memory or a place you can still go back to. So between this person and this place, take a moment to just appreciate imagining being there and try to be there with your whole body.
if there's anything that feels good about that, allow it to feel good. See what that feels like in your experience. Welcome. You deserve it. You are a person deserving of happiness. Just because you're a person. I notice, how does this feel in my head? How does this feel in my heart or my belly? How could I welcome this feeling even more? What imagination do I have about this place with this person? Now from here, you can go two directions. The first is to let go of the memory or visualization of this place in person and just focus more and more on the feeling and letting that grow and develop into an inner smile and a sense of goodwill. And that is the first option. Let's begin with that. We can all go in that direction. No need to prop the memory or visualization up. If you feel like you need another connection to this good feeling, you can reimagine it. But mostly just focusing on these good feelings, these good vibes. Letting them rest in you, even if they're amidst other turmoil. It is a safe place of the safe person that can't be touched by any turmoil. You can always reconnect to the warmth of that place. The only job is just to sit gently with that feeling, whatever comes up, wherever your mind goes, coming back to this gentle warmth. You will certainly slip off of this. It's a more fragile and delicate feeling, more delicate focal point than a breath or a bodily movement. And when you do, you can come back to your memory and visualization. You could come back to a phrase of wishing yourself well. May I feel happiness. But most of all, make sure that you first relax and let go of whatever has pulled you away. Soften, soften, soften from the inside of your head out.
if along the way you find yourself encountering more of that turbulence, difficult thoughts, feelings, memories, you may take a moment to reconnect with that place and consult this person that you care for and feel safe around about this challenge. You don't need to bring that up, but if you notice some tension or something that you're struggling with, mental content, sometimes we just let that go. But if it's sticky, you can decide to go into it instead. Go into it with the love and support of your safe person in your safe place. And imagine how they would react to hearing about it, what they would say, how they would support. If you're going about this process, taking a moment to just appreciate and feel into what being supported the way that you need feels like. Maybe you might have a hard time imagining what this person would say or do. And just use your best guess. Imagine them reacting to somebody else's situation. If you feel that you can let it go, turning back to this gentle, pleasant feeling. But if you feel you need more time, sitting with these internal words of support that you're hearing from this person or these gestures that they would make to support you. Maybe a hug, maybe a kind word maybe something you would do together. And then just returning, sitting here in this moment. It's a very, very gentle, quiet appreciation. It's the hint of appreciation flavoring your experience. Not from the top down, but from your body out. What does appreciation feel like?
breathing this way a couple of seconds longer. And as you hear the bell, you can follow it as long as you can until you can't hear it anymore. And then just sit as long as you'd like until you want to come back after that. So you're ready, you can begin the process of coming back, savoring a few last moments of practice, perhaps making any wishes for your practice, how you hope it'll show up in your life or in somebody else's. And you're ready. 